Hey, good day, everyone. Welcome to our Zoe V2 Office Hour series. I'm Rose Sekatch, Zoe Onboarding Squad Lead, and I will be taking you through this entire session. And in case you're wondering, there are no attendees on the session. I ran through it earlier today and failed to record. So I'm going to do a quick recap on this Zoe V2 LTS Extender wrap-up session, just to have it out there and recorded. So um, this week, we're going to, to actually wrap up the Zoe V2 for Zoe Extender series and then communicate our plans for a series of Zoe V2 for Zoe consumers. We are continually updating the FAQs, frequently asked questions, the FAQ section of the Zoe VNEX webpage as we respond to questions throughout this Office Hours series. If you've missed a session and are looking for an easy way to determine some of the discussion points, we suggest you review the Q&A in this list. And the Zoe V2 release date has moved from the end of February to the end of April. Knowing this, we have decided to continue our office hours series throughout March and April. And the plan is to continue to host them every Wednesday at the same time, 12 noon Eastern time, and reduce the overall time down from 60 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay, so for today, what we wanted to do was just do a recap on all of the V2 office hours that we presented to date. Uh, if you've joined any of them, you know that they follow this general pattern of agenda. We talk about the Zoe releases and technology expectations first, then we go into the new features, breaking changes, and V2 conformance criteria associated with each of the Zoe components that are extensible to date. You'll notice that we also added one more item to that list, and we labeled that Zoe systems in, in, in install, as there were a number of changes that were made to the um, installation process uh, for Zoe ZOS components. And then we usually provide you with um, a page that describes where you can find more information, where we store all the resources associated with V2, and we open it up for Q&A. Again, if you've missed any of them, they are available in the form of the Zoom recording and the presentation materials. Feel free to go ahead and visit the site, zoe.org slash vnext, table of contents, click on or page down to the office hours section and you will see this very same table there. Today, February 23rd, we're, we're giving a general wrap up session. And we'll start as we usually do with the Zoe releases and technology expectations. Uh, we present this slide to make folks aware of the fact that we will be introducing a V2 conformance program that coincides with the V2 LTS release, similar to what we did with when we announced the Zoe V1 LTS release. The Zoe V1 conformance program will continue to live on as uh, Zoe V2 is introduced, um, but will be transitioning into more of a, a maintenance mode along with the Zoe uh, V1 release. And you'll see based upon this timeline that maintenance mode for Zoe V1 is, expect, is expected to begin as soon as Zoe V2 is announced and, and is presented in an active state. And just a reminder, the Zoe V2 release date is scheduled for April 25th. We do plan to launch the V2 conformance program at that time as well. And we uh, do hope to have extenders pre-apply. You must reapply for Zoe V2 conformance, but we're hoping that you will consider pre-applying for conformance in advance of that April 25th date. And if you need information related to when the conformance program will be open for pre-applications and when the specific conformance criteria will be available, 
please refer to the session presented on February 9th called V2 General Information. We discussed the V2 conformance timeline during that session. We also wanted to bring to your attention the, the general timeline of the ZOE releases. As it stands today, our timeline for introducing ZOE V2 has been extended out by a couple of months, which may in turn result in the overall plan for the maintenance release of ZOE V1 to be extended out by several months as well. But please be aware that that decision has not been finalized and those points are under discussion with the ZOE Technical Steering Committee. We will be sharing that information with all of you as soon as it becomes available. But in general, the plan for ZOE V1 will remain, will be to remain in maintenance mode up in up until February of 2024. That's approximately two years from now. Uh, at which time we, we anticipate uh, ZOE V3 LTS being announced and ZOE V2 transitioning into maintenance mode. You'll notice that there is a slight overlap between when um, ZOE V1 terminates service, if you will, uh, in, in maintenance mode and when ZOE V2 begins its maintenance mode period. Bottom line is, at some point in time, approximately two years after an LTS release is announced, the support program for that release, that maintenance program, uh, will terminate. Next, we wanted to ensure everybody was aware that we do plan on continuing our office hours. Uh, we will have office hours uh, next week on March 2nd, as well as the week after on March 9th. However, we don't have a specific topic yet that we plan on presenting. We'll just open it up for Q&A. Following those two office hours, we do plan to have more customer focused sessions up to and including the Wednesdays that are available in April prior to the announcement of the V2 LTS release. These upcoming sessions are planned to be more consumer focused, where the sessions that we just completed were extender focused. And by consumer focused, we mean that um, we are going to present from the perspective of folks who are installing and using Zoe. So we want to ensure that they're aware of what's new in general. We want to ensure that from the perspective of various ZOE components, whether it's CLI, um, API services, ZOE apps, et cetera, or what does it mean for those specific users? We want to ensure that they also understand how it might change the installation upgrade and configuration experience. And we want to make sure that they gain a good understanding of what new features for that particular component were introduced with B2. What do they look like? What's the expectation from a user perspective? And what value would my users derive from them? So stay tuned for those, look for those. We'll continue to post the topics that we plan on focusing in on at zoe.org backslash vnext. Um, and um, certainly, if you have specific information that you're looking for, specific topics that you're interested in, in having us present, you can certainly contact us on our Slack channels at, at um, the Open Mainframe Project. With that, I think I will just close this out. Yep, that's my last slide. As I said, there's no one on the call. I'm re-recording. Hopefully, you found this information valuable. And um, we look forward to seeing you on our next office hours. Thank you.